I'm Stephen Mulhern, and this is Tricky TV. And this is the Tricky Team. With awesome magic skills, it's Stian Nazim. Wickedly talented, it's Connor and KC. Brilliant and smart, it's Daniel and Georgia. Clever at magic and funny too, it's Lewis and Sky. And they're all here to amaze and amuse you. In today's show, how is Daniel making a spoon float behind the cloth? Will Lewis ever learn to stop stuffing his face and follow KC with her healthier lifestyle? How can Nazim get from the top of the tower block to the ground in seconds? How difficult can it be to tear a paper napkin in Georgia's Betcha Challenge? And as we take a look back at the best bits of this season's Wicked Wind-Ups, which was the funniest moment in the brilliant series of pranks we tried out on our victims? That is today's Tricky TV show, and this is the Tricky Team. Time to enter the secret circle where we show you the secret behind a great trick so you can do it too. Here's Daniel. Watch the spoon very carefully. And now something spooky happens. And if you think that's odd, just look at what Daniel does next. How cool is that? Oh, now where's he going? Some spooky spoon work, Daniel. It's a great trick, but how does it work with an audience? We went to find some holiday makers to try it out for real. Come on, come on. And if you want to be able to make a spoon come to life, it won't be very long before you can, as we will show you the secret. Plenty of exercise and a healthy diet are really important. Casey knows that. But no one has told Lewis. <laughs> and the trouble with a good burger is one is never enough. Casey has her exercise plan all worked out. She needs these chairs now to do her bench exercises. Lewis, meanwhile, is ready for the next course. But where has that chair gone? Never mind, Casey, you won't have to stop doing your bench presses because with a little bit of magic, you can carry on doing what's good for you. Now that is magic. Meanwhile, Lewis can carry on doing what's bad for him. Sooner or later, he'll learn. Meanwhile, Casey proves that keeping fit is a magic thing to do. Busy market, the perfect place to set a challenge. Georgia's got a lovely trick to challenge the public. Georgia knows the secret behind the trick, but will anyone else? Keep watching and she will show you the answer. So that if anyone ever says, I bet you, you can't, you can say, I bet you I can. OK, ladies and gentlemen, here I have an ordinary paper napkin. The challenge is to pull it in half with your bare hands. 
I bet you can't. Billy, you can It's difficult that because the napkin is twisted and you have to keep it twisted. It's quite strong, isn't it? Make sure it's really twisted. Can't do it. OK? You're untwisting it! It's starting to look like it's impossible. Still can't do it. Ah, it's doing really hard. Can't do it. Does anyone else like to try? Do you like to try and do it? I can see the tension in her face. I'm trying to pull her apart. Is she gonna do it? No, can't do it. <laughs> face going bright red. Red as the napkin. This is really hard work. Her face is nearly as red as the napkin. No, okay, Georgia, tell us how you do it. Nope. Well, a twisted paper napkin is almost impossible to tear without a little help from a bowl of water. You didn't tell them about the bowl of water. They never asked. You just dip the napkin into the water and it comes apart instantly. Go on, Georgia, put them out of their misery and go and tell them. Now just put it in the water. Clever really but twisted. And now they know the secret and so do you. The next time someone says, I bet you you can't, you can. Take a look at this office block. Nazim is on the tenth floor. It's a lovely day with a great view. Now, it will take Nazim at least five minutes to get to the ground in the lift, and it would take much longer if he took the stairs. But watch. He is now on the ground floor, and in just five seconds. And he never even had to leave the room. Nice one, Nazim. So if you want to know how Nazim managed this amazing trick, stick around and we will tell you the secret. Also to come, which is your favourite wicked wind-up? As we bring the most hilarious and unlikely situations to the unsuspecting public. All filmed by our hidden cameras. And how can Sky and Casey possibly move my car when it's stuck between these two white vans? On Tricky TV, we set up loads of fake exhibitions to catch people in our wicked wind-ups. We've filmed them on our hidden cameras, and we've made them... ..jump... <laughs> we've made them get very red-faced. I'll sing anything. OK, well, well let's start. So you just want to stand up. You just want to stand up and... Uh, let's have a look in the mirror. I think you've got something in your eye. Um, <laughs> We've scared them with plastic spiders. We set up a blindfolding taste test, and then when people can't see, we've run away. <laughs> Just tell me what you think. Good position first. Brilliant. <laughs> we had a life-saving dummy that came to life itself. <laughs> We had a food tasting with a surprise on the menu. Oh, I am <laughs> we made a shopping trolley come to life. Pulled 
people with party games that weren't really there. Good sniff, close your eyes and tell us on the smell what you think. We splattered a few unsuspecting faces. an unstoppable drinks machine. <laughs> and a popcorn dispenser which keeps on dispensing. Fairground attractions which fall to bits. Antiques that the tricky team smashed to pieces. <laughs> All caught on hidden camera. <laughs> that woman knocked your balls over, mate! All in all, we've had some smashing wicked wind-ups. Remember earlier, Nazim got from the top of a very tall building to the ground floor in just seconds. So how did he do it so quickly? Well, in truth, Nazim was never really on the 10th floor of the building. Now, we don't usually use TV tricks on Tricky, but this was done with a Tricky TV. You see, behind the glass of this ground floor window, we placed a large TV set, and on it, we ran a video of a view from the 10th floor. So it gives the illusion of being high in the air. When the scene closed the blind, we secretly wheeled the TV out of the way. It really was a tricky TV trick with a tricky TV. That's easy for you to say. beginning of the show, you saw us do a spooky spoon trick and it amazed these guys. Now this looks like an ordinary spoon, but watch very, very carefully. Whoa! 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 Whoa. It starts floating. Look! Whoa. So now it's time to let you in on the secret Whoa. to the spoon trick. Whoa. Come on, Daniel. Let's show everyone. Yes, you see, this is a special spoon and fork combination that we use to make it look like the spoon is floating. So, grab an old spoon and fork and wedge the handle of the spoon between the prongs of the fork, like this. This is your special device to make the trick work. So hold it behind the napkin like this. Now you get another spoon and place it on the table. You lift the napkin and draw it towards you. At the same time, you let the spoon and fork device drag the real spoon into your lap. Lift the napkin and now, by moving your thumb, you can push the fork forward and the spoon will go against the napkin and it looks like it's come to life underneath. You can see how you can move the spoon around just using your thumb. Push your thumb forwards and the spoon pushes the napkin out. And at the same time, you pretend you have no control over the spoon. And for your finale, Stephen, you can even push the spoon above the napkin and it will look like it's floating. And by turning the fork over, you can make the spoon push out the side of the napkin. Ooh. Do you know what? I do like this trick and I still even do it in restaurants just for a laugh. Look, you can do it with a fork and a bread roll. You can do that. Also, you'll like this one. Hang on a second. You can also do it with... a banana. <laughs> How about that? 
Look, just stuck in the fork, simple as that. Now, if you are going to do it, a little tip here, make sure you do not use your best cutlery, otherwise, like me, you'll get in trouble. So, get floating and amaze your mates. Don't tell them the secret. That is just for you, as you are part of the Secret Circle. Casey have discovered a problem. My car is so tightly boxed in that not even the best driver in the world will be able to get it out. Silly boys have parked far too close. Time for some tricky problem solving. OK, Sky, let's do it. I think Casey has discovered a way to solve this dilemma. Well, it's certainly done the trick, but girls, where's my car? OK, let's take a look at some of the best bits from this series of Tricky TV. Here is Connor on his own on the beach. I wonder who that is under there. Do it again, Connor. Question is, Connor, can you do it a third time? Great job, but who is under the towels? But who's under the third one? It's Connor. You weren't expecting that, were you? Stee holds the tablecloth. Now watch what happens. Wow, it certainly seems to be working. You can see all around the table and even underneath it as it floats. Here's Georgia. Sorry, crew, but it's vanishing time. They vanished. Comfy, Casey? No. And it shouldn't be me in here. It should be Daniel. Oh, dear, a bit late now. So get ready to try and escape. Daniel is trying out a clever trick that Casey doesn't find funny. Oh, that was quick. Yes, and revenge is sweet. You're right, Daniel. Heads I win, tails you lose. <laughs> See ya. Here's Lewis putting out the rubbish. <laughs> so if Lewis gives the bin a quick shake, then we can see how quickly we can get the rubbish collected. Sky is in the middle of a solid wooden frame. Amazing. Nazim, aided by Connor, is creating the world's largest MP3 player in the middle of an empty field. Knowing these two, there could be an extra surprise in store. Any requests? Let's have something we can dance to. He's got a spectacular trick that will amaze you.
So Casey's going over to the picnic table. Now watch what she does next. Ready, Casey? Wow, that was quick. She's gone. But the big question is, can she get from all the way over there to here? Something's happening for sure. I'm back. What a great series it's been. Now, our tricky team here never make mistakes. Oh, boy, have a look at this. I know it's coming. Last thing Using just an ordinary bottle and a pencil. Pencil that's stuck in a bottle. <laughs> Grill. Grilla. Gorilla. Say Grilla. Grilla. Hmm. Put the coin in the hole so that it is. <laughs> Beware, Cobra Man and Floating Eye of Death. Prepare to be the wrath of the super rad. They're on their way. The Aquabats are here next. She's laughing. I can't <laughs> <laughs>